Once upon a time, there was a princess who lost her kingdom to an evil genie. Normal size and to restore her royal crown. The princess and her friends must find the great book of magic. It's a magic pass. See, the quest is find the great book of magic before I do and have it in their possession. The purse will come alive. Okay. And then, and then, bring the book directly to me. A purse. A purse. That's your plan? Are you nuts? <laughs> has a mind of its own. You're such a pessimist, Rex. This is great news. The purse has rid us of the princess and Roderick. Our worries are over. Famous last words. <laughs> No sign of them? I can't find the two of them anywhere either. Maybe they went into town. <laughs> Mommy! 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 Father! It looks like Gwen and Roddy aren't the only ones missing. Excuse us, we're looking for two adults. A knight and a princess. Join the club. All the grown-ups are missing. I need help with my homework, Dad! <laughs> thing we found this morning was this! Oh! That's the purse Sir Roderick gave Gwen! This is no ordinary purse, as Grandfather used to say. A woman's purse is a puzzle unto itself. I'll say it's not ordinary. 
It's kind of ugly, too. It's okay. Hmm? We're not going to hurt you. <laughs> it won't open. What's that? Just as I thought, it's a gift receipt made out to the Duke. You got a gift receipt? Why'd you do that? Well, if she didn't like it, I wanted to be able to return it. I think this magic purse has something to do with the missing adults. And the Duke sent it. He's the one who must know what happened. <laughs> Wait, I think I have a plan. And I'll need your help. This does not look good. <laughs> You're overreacting, Rex. What plan could boring, pathetic William have? Besides, they're hundreds of miles away. Open up, or I'll play real loud music. Ever heard hip hoppy rap? You better do as they say. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? We want the princess and Sir Roderick back, and these children want their parents back. So until you return them. You're responsible for each and every one of them. The little ones need changing and feeding. <laughs> the laundry needs washing. And the kids need help with homework. I'll never do it. Never! You'll never see your princess on night again. <laughs> oh, suit yourself. Yeah, it's been nice knowing you. Oh, no you don't. You're gonna help me babysit. I hope your plan works, William. I was ready to show the Duke what I was made of. How long do you think the Duke can last? Uh, I'd give him to the end of the episode. Do you think Sir Roderick and the Princess are in danger or suffering? <gasps> Had I known, I would have hopped into a woman's purse years ago. Come on, it's really, really good. Yummy, yummy for the tummy. Very funny. Woo! A ball! No! Assist you? Rex! I'm on the phone! Bring the kid in the other room! Where was I? Breaking my eardrums. Yes, well, I have this purse that I purchased, and it swallowed all the grown-ups. And I need a spell to get them out. Ah, uh, was this magic purse certified by the Witch's Council of Concerned Fashion Divas? Eh, uh, I don't think so. Only the person who sent the purse can open it. Uh, unless you fix what you started, just start. Rex, what do I do? Rex? Rex? <laughs> the only way to release them is for me to open the purse. So please, let me just open it. <laughs> let me confer with my associates. Let's go. I'm hungry. There are some snacks in the fridge! <laughs> we talked it over and we agree you can open the purse. You No man can open it. <laughs> Maybe you have to be a woman to open it. <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> the 
That's not really doing it for me. I agree. That's it. Oh, looks great. Wow, that's so you. Divine. Can we just get on with it? And now the true test. Will you fool the purse? <laughs> Wait. Hide your beard. Time, but it's nice to be back. You failed me, you miserable, pathetic press! I want my money! <laughs> For a duke, he makes a pretty good looking duchess. Mm hmm. Since you didn't care for the saw, princess, here. Oh, Sir Roderick, you shouldn't have. Happy birthday! Oh. Uh, if you don't like that, uh, how about this? Or this? Or this? How about this? You shouldn't have. Uh, what about this? You really shouldn't have. And this? I just can't believe our luck. Where did you find the Book of Magic, Sir Roderick? I found it in their castle safe. <gasps> huh? They don't do more book. No gigantomatous... Oh, I can't read this. Could we slow down a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Something that belongs to us. Yikes. Yeah, the book has slipped through our hands again, and all because of that band of Bob Dick. I do not want it. Just wait and see. When we decide we're ready to escape, we'll be out of here. Jiffy. You talk too much. <laughs> that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> Release my heroes immediately. Who are you supposed to be? I am Casimir Fleet, the biggest fan of the Questers that ever was. And you are mistreating my heroes. Oh, I'm so scared. What are you going to do? Write me a note? <laughs> Ask for your autograph. Of course. Now, <laughs> 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 That's preposterous. Where did that little runt come from? I think you're fantastic. I just can't believe I'm actually here with you. Wow. I really admire you. I mean, I know all of your adventures by heart. And I have the complete set of figurines. Look. Huh? Is that me? Boy, I'm handsome. I've got badges, cards, t-shirts, mugs. I just love everything you do. Oh, you're the coolest. Sir Roderick, say something for posterity. This is all very flattering, but you know, it's important to have your own life too. Huh? Huh? Grandfather just spoke to me, but I have no idea what he is saying. What did he tell you? It doesn't mean a thing. It's true, the grammar is a little strange. Not at all. It's a classic code. It was spoken backwards, so we play it in reverse. The book is at the top of Bald Mountain. Good heavens, that's it! Bald oh, Mountain! 
Captain, but of course! The little imbecile is not as foolish as he looks! Send my troops without delay! Uh, 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 they need some time off. I really have to do everything myself. It's a good thing I'm in tip-top shape. You look smashing, boss. A real mountaineer. Yes, didn't I? I took advantage of the sales at ye old campus store. I'll go get it. If you don't mind. Hmm. But I haven't even fixed my hair. You're welcome. Perfect. Say cheese. <laughs> so, my friends, <gasps> shall we keep walking? Or should I make confetti out of them? Sheesh. That little fella's a lot more dangerous than he looks. All right. I guess I'd better warn he who must be obeyed. Yes, what do you want? Hey, boss, watch out for that fan, kid. He looks like trouble. There are mountains. I can't hear a thing. The vacuum cleaner is in the closet and the fridge is full of food. You'll just have to manage. Right. <laughs> Come on, think it over. Don't throw your life away. Put the photo down by your feet and put your hands behind your head. You can forget it. Don't try and trick me. Don't panic, princess. We'll get you out of there. Hurry, I'm running too far from the wrong angle. Come on, questers. Let's get to it. <laughs> I'm getting bored. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You're the little... <laughs> What on earth? Will you leave me alone, you meandering hairball? I tell you. Why are you following me like a bunch of mindless sheep? What was that? The Great Book of Magic, isn't that it? Wow, there's the book again! Shh. Don't frighten it. This is our big chance. Well, what are you guys waiting for? Go for it. <laughs> well done! Keep dreaming if you think I'm gonna let you get anywhere near it. Who said I wanted to come near it? <laughs> You missed us! Oh, yeah? Huh? you know that the little fellow is anything but an ally. But I guess you'll figure that out for yourself. Bye. 
You know, I really love your work, too. <laughs> and it's true that I don't do too badly for myself. Yes, you're so bad, you fail without fail. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Say cheese. <laughs> Yippee! Back to square one. Well, we won't do it. We're not starting all over again. Are you sure? Absolutely, I've had it. I'm going on strike. Right, me too. Hey. Uh, let me check the union regulations for striking nights. Let's see. Uh, accident in the workplace, overtime. But, 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 but you have to continue the quest. You're forcing me to take extreme measures here. That's up to you. Stressly from Dragon Attack. You know he wouldn't hurt them. He's our number one fan, remember? <laughs> it's down to you and me. Don't think you can mock the mastermind of evil and get off scot free. You're the <laughs> Right, and now it's really time for you to go home to your mother. Oh no, out of the question. I'm having much too much fun. Let's get back to work, or else I'll trap you in my autograph book. Mm -hmm. Casimir! Huh? What on earth are you up to now? No. Hi, honey. Are you wasting your time with that stupid quest again when you should be spending time with me? But, sweetie, I, I would never do that. Stay out of this, buddy. And you're just a big crybaby. Aren't you ashamed at your age? I should have dated Kevin. At least Kevin's not obsessed with stupid things. I should have listened to my mother. Oh, oh no, no! The book! <laughs> Bye-bye, Bookie. <laughs> <laughs>